Hello everyone, I'm Sal Dalia with Adorama and today I have new two exciting products from Sony. The Alpha 6700 and the M1 shotgun microphone. Let's talk about the Alpha 6700. People have been waiting for a new APS-C camera for a long time. And Sony packed all the latest technology from mirrorless camera into this tiny little body. The Alpha 6700 is a 26 megapixel back illuminated Exmor sensor. The previous APS-C was front illuminator, so that's already like a big difference in quality. With this sensor, you can go up to 32,000 ISO, which is very impressive. Of course, being the last generation, you have that new AI processing unit, which gives you incredible new features. From incredible subject recognition, it's not just human, animal, birds, it's also trains and aeroplanes. It's incredible how you know, the algorithm in this camera can track all these different objects. With a smaller sensor, you have an amazing image stabilization system. You have up to five stop compensation effect. I could have used a gimbal, which is very easy to use with a small camera, but I wanted to test that image stabilization. So both standard and active to see by walking up to the talent, how much stable the shot will be while I'm end holding. I'm a video guy first, of course, I tested the video a lot on this camera because I have the same compression, the same quality of my Alpha 7S III and I could match the footage if I want to, so this can become a great second camera. I shot 4 to 2 10 bit in 4K and in S-Log3, but of course you can also take amazing photos. You have selectable RAW options, included lossless. The AI-based real-time tracking has 759 point-based detection out of focus, which covers 93% of the image. And if you want to shoot sports or action, you can go up to 11 frames per second, both electronically and mechanically. The 4K is full pixel readout, and it's actually 6K over sample, so you get amazing 4K quality. You can shoot up to 4K 120 frames per second, or Full HD at 240 frames per second. You have all the other mirrorless looks, like the Cinetone, S-Log, and assignable LUTs. Sony also added a new feature to the actual file data that you have on this camera. That means your files come with metadata that has many information about stabilization, about color, which gives you the chance in post-production to fix or change or manipulate your footage. You have autofocus assist, breathing compensation, focus mapping, and more. The camera has, of course, all the regular outputs for audio, but also brand new USB-C port that you can use also to stream up to 4K 30 frames per second. And that's a big deal. It uses the same Z battery of the other big mirrorless cameras. It's dust and moisture resistant, magnesium alloy chassis, and something that I really like, they redesigned the grip because many users in the community were complaining about the grip becoming a little bit too small. And, you know, we love our small Sony body, but at the same time, the grip, it's important, especially for people with big hands that, you know, find the grip to be too small and not very comfortable. This camera inherited from the ZV line, the intuitive interface. You can change between shortcut menus with a simple touch. But something that the ZV line doesn't have is the EVF, which is, I think, very important when you're shooting outdoor, or in my opinion, it's very important for still photography because I want to be able to control all of the angle of the frame or have the most perfect preview that you can have. Today, I tested the camera and the microphone by shooting the amazing Anna. She's a violinist and she played a presto by Buck. It was a great way for me to test both video and still capabilities on the camera and test this brand new M1 shotgun microphone. The first thing that I thought when I saw the microphone is how small and lightweight it is. You basically don't even feel it on top of the camera. But I would say that my, my favorite feature is definitely the different pattern that you have on the back of the microphone. You have up to eight different pattern for your car your microphone. With a quick switch, you can decide how narrow or how wide you wanna record in front of you or in the back of the camera by recording your voice. You can also do stereo, or you can just use it as a generic microphone. And from this test, you can hear by yourself how good it is.
I'm very impressed with this microphone and I'm definitely gonna pre-order it. Thank you so much, Sony, for loaning me the Alpha 6700 and the M1 microphone. If you have any question, please leave it below, subscribe to Adorama TV, and I'll see you next time.